first. Yeah, we've never done anything like this. I know. Are you nervous? Like a couple of country and western stars, you know, <laughs> sing a song. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we are uh, here today just because uh, we're kicking off our seasons. Uh, I think um, it's a unique kickoff to a season in that uh, Keitha has a um, big rivalry game. And we have a game against um, one of five power conferences, uh, Washington State from the Pac-12. And we're appreciative of those people for signing a four-year contract with us. We think it's a, a way to uh, transition our fans as they continue to pull for our football program, uh, get ready for a big Saturday night, which we can go to a bowl game, but also uh, start thinking about basketball and uh, not put it off till you know January or mid-January, which uh, we never have a problem of in El Paso because it's always been a great basketball town. But we think this weekend is particularly special uh, with the fact that Keith has got a, uh, a big rivalry game, and um, I know she's hopeful. I shouldn't speak for her, but uh, some of that enthusiasm and energy that was generated at the end of uh, last season with those uh, three special sellouts at the end of the season can uh, carry over with enthusiasm into her season. And uh, we're hopeful just to, to gain some of what uh, she had going on. So um, we like our team. Uh, I feel like uh, we're going to be able to score the basketball. Um, we had real problems last year with uh, being able to drive, to be able to, pen to penetrate, uh, being able to break presses uh, because of limited guard play and the number of players that we lost. But uh, I feel like we've answered a lot of those questions, even though, um, uh, though those problems were um, solved with youth, uh, we still like the youth that we brought into our program. Okay. Okay, see you guys that. later. That was good. That. <laughs> um, well, it's a great day to be a minor. Um, I think that uh, this weekend does present a unique opportunity for uh, for UTEP fans to uh, really have a great weekend with UTEP athletics. Um, really, uh, I'm really excited about uh, our football program and Coach Kugler and the job they're doing. Like Tim mentioned, I tell you, I've enjoyed watching them play. Uh, and this is a big, big game this weekend against North Texas for them. Um, I really want to, I, I think I've kind of uh, fell into this. Uh, I like to challenge people. I like to challenge our players, and I also like to challenge uh, El Paso and UTEP fans. Um, this weekend, uh, Friday night, uh, why not sell the Haskins Center out for both our games? Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, the sellouts that we had last year, um, at the end of the year uh, was absolutely amazing and something that all of our players um, will cherish forever, including myself. Uh, Friday night, why don't we do that? I think it's a, a unique opportunity for us to open the season together. Um, we, are, we have a lot of new faces on our team. Uh, I like our new players. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, quite frankly, we're going to need uh, our fans to be behind us as we go through this growing process. I think fans need to understand that, you know, when you build a program, there's different times that you go through different things. Um, and, and it's not always uh, rosy all the time. You have to build, and sometimes you got to taste the bitter to taste the sweet. Uh, we've tasted the bitter, and we've tasted the sweet. Now we're back to having a lot of new players that we've got to learn a lot, we've got to grow. Um, I think Coach Floyd's got it dialed up to have a great year this year. Um, we've got a new video board that's already had to put over 100 points on the board from our men's team. That's amazing. A lot of points, uh, a lot of fast action, and a lot of guys that can score. So that's really exciting for minor fans. Um, I have to admit, uh, you know, on the game day, it was a little bit of a unique deal. Not riding Kelly Willingham up on the board, Kayla Thornton up on the board, and Christine Vitola. As my starting five, I've been putting those guys' names on the board for four years. And there I am in the locker room, and we've got new kids. And um, but I tell you, it was, uh, the great thing about that is this. Uh, a lot of coaches, a lot of times, are really happy to see seniors go bye-bye. There's a lot of kids sometimes that coaches are glad to see them be gone, right? Uh, well, I'm fortunate. We've had kids that we've really been sad to see uh, move on. Um, and we've gone through this numerous, numerous times, felt the same thing with Natasha Lacey. 
felt the same thing with Jerrica Hughes, Tamika Williams, and the list goes on and on and on. That's a great thing. We're getting kids in here that we end up uh, becoming a family with and loving like your own, and then having all these moments that you go through this journey through sports, and that's really what it's all about. Here's the exciting thing. Now I've got these new kids that we're about to start this whole thing over with. And uh, so I just want to encourage people to come out to get to know these guys. I'm really excited about them. We had some new kids that did some really, really good things. And we got a great group of kids back that uh, we're trying to put it together. So uh, I think it's a great weekend for us to just really um, experience some great moments, both men and women's basketball and for our football team. So I want to challenge everybody to come out this weekend. and. Uh, Coach Floyd, I'm really um, glad to know that uh, you guys got the new scoreboard. All the problems, all the glitches are solved. We now know how to get over 100 points. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> you know, um, Keith has said that sometimes coaches are ready for players to move on, and other times are not. And you mentioned the girls that you wish you had back. I think we'd all like to know who you were ready to have move on. <laughs> Honestly, uh, that's a very short list uh, in my time here. Um, you know, and I think, um, you know, as a coach, um, you know, I've been really, really fortunate and blessed to have some great kids and some really good players. And that's what makes us look smart uh, when we look smart um, is because of the kind of kids that we have and the kind of players we get. And, um, you know, this, this team I have is young, and we got a lot to figure out. We don't have it figured out right now, but uh, I can tell you this, we're working really hard. Um, and I do have a long list of kids that I, that I, that I miss, yeah. so that's a good thing. <laughs> you might end up on that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, uh, let, let, it is a big weekend for the Miners. Uh, Let's I, challenge everybody to sell out the Haskins Friday night. Exactly. Let's do it. And, and, Let's do it. And uh, a special opportunity with the football program to go to a yes. game uh, on, on Saturday. I think that uh, none of us envision that going into the year. I think it's a real credit to uh, Sean and his staff. Quick turnaround. And Sean, I've got one question for you before you get up here. If you'd answer it when you get up here. I'm not comfortable when I look out here and see all the people in the media. we got great media here, but I'm not comfortable. When I look out, I see Bernie Ricono, former coach, who's, who's moved to the dark side. You know, he's part of the media. And I'm just wondering uh, how that relationship's gone. And, and if you really, if he can still remember when he coached and what that was like. Uh, you don't ever have to worry about me going to the dark side, but Bernie does an awesome job. <laughs> All right. Any questions for us? Thank, thanks for uh, everybody coming out. Anybody got a question? All right. Thank Go you. Thanks, guys. All right.